schedule t we are going to understand regarding gmp that is good manufacturing practices of indian systems of medicine so under this what are the requirements which are required or what are the basic needs which are required to be fulfilled the legal requirements for manufacturing of indian systems of medicine that is ayurveda siddha and unani systems of medicines we are going to learn and understand in detail the objectives of schedule t that is good manufacturing practices for ayurveda siddha unani medicines different components of gmp in context with infrastructure requirements working space storage area machinery and equipments sops standard operating procedures health and hygiene documentation and records schedule t legally it is coming under drugs and cosmetic act rule 157 which gives description regarding gmp that is good manufacturing practices for ayurvedic siddha and unani medicines so if you have visited a pharmaceutical industry you are aware that lot of hygienic conditions are required to be maintained and the person working in pharma industry he wears a linen or a gown which covers his head with a head gear a face mask hand gloves shoe covers and you need to sanitize your hand before you are actually entering the premises so sanitize sanitization conditions are required to be maintained throughout in the manufacturing area of pharmaceutical industry what are good manufacturing practices as per schedule t so good manufacturing practices they are prescribed in two different parts part 1 and part 2 part 1 it gives in detail about the practices which are required to be implemented or followed by the industry while manufacturing ayurveda siddha unani medicines and part 2 it talks about the list of different equipments instruments facilities area which is required for ensuring manufacturing proper manufacturing of drugs or medicines that is ayurveda siddha unani systems so gmp mainly ensures whatever the raw material which you are using in the manufacturing of drugs or medicines ideally they should be authentic they should be of a prescribed quality and it should be free from any kind of contamination the manufacturing process it has been prescribed to maintain the standards so there are standard operating procedures for manufacturing processes or procedures which are being laid down for manufacturing a particular formulation so that particular procedure is required to be followed also adequate quality control measures are required to be adopted the manufactured drug which is released for the sale it should be of acceptable quality so once the product is manufactured the product it undergoes series of quality control parameters or quality control test before the final or the finished product is released in the market for sale now to achieve all these objectives as stated above each and every manufacturer or licensee they shall evolve a methodology and procedure for following the prescribed process of manufacturing of drugs and it should be documented as a manual and it should be kept for the reference and inspection whatever the practices and procedures the ayurvedic siddha unani systems of medicines or the industry is following the standard operating procedures packaging procedures quality control test or quality control protocols whatever are being followed 
each and every licensee it should document it properly as a manual for the reference as well as for all the types of inspection now under imc c that is indian medicine central council act registered vaidyas siddhas and hakims they prepare their medicines on their own to dispense to the patients and not selling such drugs in the market are exempted from the purview of gmp so still there are some traditional doctors like vaidyas siddhas and hakims who in their own clinic they prepare their drugs or medicines on their own and dispense to the patients they are being exempted from the purview of gmp now we will be going into the details about the part 1 of good manufacturing practices so the first component is factory premises the manufacturing plant should have adequate space for receiving and storing the raw material now the raw material over here i am referring to the drugs that is the herbal drugs in the powder form or in the whole form it should be stored properly in well defined place hygienic conditions are required to be maintained so there is a raw material stored in the manufacturing premises manufacturing process areas wherein actual manufacturing of formulation is carried out quality control section finished goods stores office drug stores rejected goods if any now these are the points which we will understand in detail when it comes to schedule t so what are the general requirements which are mentioned in the schedule t first is the location and surrounding of the manufacturing premises building water supply disposal of waste containers cleaning then in the stores it is divided into three sections raw material stores for receiving the herbal drugs in the powder form it can also include some other excipients packaging material it can include primary packaging material secondary packaging material tertiary packaging material so the packaging material which is in direct contact with the drug that is called as a primary packaging material the packaging material which is used for enclosing the finished goods or products with primary packaging material that is called as the secondary packaging material and the tertiary packaging material are the big size boxes or cartons made up of cardboard boxes or wooden cases so that is about the packaging material then finished goods stores wherein the finished goods or the drugs or the formulations ayurvedic siddha yunani formulations are being stacked and stored properly working area and working space adequate space should be made available now when it comes to the manufacturing aspect the workers who are actually working on the manufacturing plant the health clothing health clothing sanitation and hygienic conditions is required to be maintained periodic medical check up that is medical services are required to be given to the workers machinery and equipments documentation part batch manufacturing records are required to be maintained distribution records records of market complaint if any and quality control so these are all the important aspects which we shall be covering in detail for schedule t now there are separate requirements or specific requirements which are mentioned for sterile products for example say <coughs> ophthalmic ointments so there are different requirements for the manufacturing area and precautions are required against any kind of contamination and mix up 